In 2007, China destroyed a satellite with a missile. This now makes all satellites vulnerable to attack. A solution to this problem would be to separate one large satellite into several smaller satellites that still have the same function as the original one. One way to do this would be through CubeSats. A CubeSat is a small, lightweight satellite that is 10 centimeters cubed and weighs under 1 kilogram. They were originally developed by Cal Poly University to teach university and college students about aerospace technology. There's a lot of information on the internet about these and I became interested in building my own. My CubeSat tracks its position, altitude, and speed and transmits it out and also transmits video. Each function's components are individual removable cards which makes the entire system modular. The first card is a Parallax Basic Stamp Microcontroller, which had to be modified to fit in the frame and I had to learn PBASIC, which is the programming language for this microcontroller. I then developed my own program to individually turn all the individual devices on and off on command. The next card is the Tracker card. On one side is the APRS card and on the other side is the GPS receiver. The GPS gathers the data and sends it to the terminal node controller, which converts the raw GPS, GPS data into an APRS data stream and transmits it out on VHF on this antenna. The next card is the amateur television card, which simply takes the video from an onboard camera and transmits it out on UHF on this antenna. On the bottom is the power distribution board, which I had to design and build from scratch. I got a blank board from Radio Shack and designed it to take the power from an 11.1 volt polymer lithium ion battery and distribute it to all the different components in the satellite. The frame, I got the CAD files online from a company called PumpkinSat and submitted them to Rapid Technology in Honolulu. They then printed out an exact replica of the frame out of plaster dust and epoxy. And now I'd like to turn it on for you. And here is the live video. I believe that the future of the satellite industry is in small distributed satellites that are cheap and easily made. Thank you.